A resume is the first point of contact between a candidate and the employer. It is, therefore, necessary that it is prepared with care and precision. This video will guide you to understand how to develop a professional resume, with the help of which you can apply for a job. Before we proceed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That little notification bell will also help you to be always informed about our latest updates. Before we move ahead and discuss steps of professional CV building in detail, please note that while drafting a resume, one cannot afford to make any grammatical mistakes, spelling errors or incorrect sentences. To avoid making such mistakes, we suggest that you take help from online grammar editor tools. Understanding the steps of professional CV building is not very complicated, but while drafting a CV, a lot of us find it very confusing. What to put and how to put is the big question in mind. Resume plays a pivotal role while applying for a job. It sums up your entire career and experience. Hence, you can't afford to get it wrong at any cost. Here are the steps to build a professional resume. Number 1. Choose from resume formats. There are four types of formats to build a professional resume. A. Chronological. Chronological resumes are the most widely used formats. They list the work experiences in chronological order. B. Functional. Functional resumes focus more on skills and experiences. C. Combination. Combination CVs are the ones, which describe both your skills and experiences while maintaining it in chronological order. D. Targeted. Targeted resumes are specifically made for a particular job that you are seeking. Select from the plethora of formats according to the requirement of the job description, while you apply for a job. This is one of the most important steps for professional CV building. Number 2. Provide summary and overview. Drafting a CV to apply for a job, in particular, is an art. Don't assume that your employer will see how your skills are related to the job profile. Give a short personal statement explaining why you are apt for the job. Smartly include all your relevant skills and experiences in the personal statement in a precise way. You can also include your career summary to give an overview of your experiences and work history. All these things will definitely make it easier for the interviewer to find out about you. While you apply for a job, it is very important to keep these points in mind. Number 3. Review Resume Examples. Don't forget to review some resume examples while drafting a CV. The internet is a very wide platform where you will be able to find out various examples which will cater to your needs. You can also make use of your professional contacts. Ask your friends and family about their CV. This way you will be able to gain an idea about what to include and how to write. There are also many websites available that help to draft resumes. Give them a try. In order to build a good professional resume, you have to go through many examples so that you don't get wrong. Number 4. Mind the order of information. Don't put your information in a haphazard manner. While drafting a CV, maintain a proper sequence and structure according to their importance. It is the most important step for a professional CV building. When you apply for a job, your resume should be fully prepared. Maintain the desired order so that the recruiter doesn't get confused. Firstly, write your name and contact details, then your qualification and professional profile, experiences and skills and then add the additional section mentioning your awards, honors, and hobbies. Follow this tip in order to draft a professional resume. Number 5. Number, 
Off pages. A professional resume should be very precise and free from any unnecessary information. You don't need pages and pages to convey your skills and show your competence for the job. It is rather off-putting. Design your resume in such a way that it is not too lengthy. While drafting your CV, keep in mind to not exceed more than two pages. Number 6. Font size, spacing, and margins. These three things make your CV presentable and attractive. Using the right font is very important. You don't want an employer to spend time deciphering what is written. Preferably use Times New Roman or Arial. Use proper spacing so that the contents don't become congested. Keep proper margins to align all the information. This is also an important step in the process of professional CV building. Number 7. Proper printout and delivery. This is a very crucial step while building a professional CV. Never submit a crumpled and torn copy of your CV. A badly presented CV will ruin your impression in front of the interviewers. Always be ready with a well-printed, neat and clean copy. These simple and easy steps will definitely help you while drafting a CV. A good resume will definitely draw the attention of the employer, which will increase your chances of receiving an interview call. So, follow these steps for professional CV building to nail your interview. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share it further with your friends. Waiting to hear your views in the comment section.